when you uh when you decided to uh not become a doctor essentially and pursue acting what did your family think <laughs> well i mean this is a question i get all the time and some of it's because i'm indian but some of it's also because uh being doctor to actor is a huge change uh although you, you know in spelling not so much um i think my parents are really shocked and they were not very happy and it's been a lifetime of their loving me through their disappointment, you know, and a lifetime <laughs> of me uh, living under the yoke of that disappointment and trying not to take it too personally, although it's very hard with your parents, um, but really not, because, you know, that's about cultural expectation and who we all think we are and who we all want our kids to be and who we want our parents to be, right? It, it ends up being like where if you really study yourself and you study your relationships and try to be better in them, you'll realize that we're all operating under like some pretty heavy delusions about who we think the people who are, we love are. And my parents obviously thought it was gonna be this kid who grew up to be a doctor and brought a lot of pride in the Indian model to their family. And I thought my parents were gonna be these like, they were already so progressive in some ways that I thought they were gonna be able to just be like the, the parents of my erstwhile compatriots who came to see every play they ever did, whether it was like the nursery school play or whatever, right? And to my parents that was like, a very little value till way later, till I think they changed their minds and knew, A, I was serious, right? I was gonna do it with my life and B, that like it meant something to me and I communicated that to them. And, you know, I think they started to kind of change their way of looking at it. And they've done a lot in the last many years now. They've come a lot more, they see a lot more of my work. They've come to my premieres a couple times. Um, they've been hugely important in helping me find my own identity as I've gone through the process of becoming an artist, which is a huge part of, I think, the frontier of being a more professional artist is you, you end up being um, an archeologist of yourself, you know, and these things and how you feel about your parents and how deep those relationships are and how far they go back and how they affect you um, and how many different calluses you've put up that don't let you feel certain things you need to work on so you can feel them in your work and in yourself, you know? Um, those things that they've been very, very helpful in that. And I'm very proud of my relationship with them now. Not proud, not proud of like, I want other people to know it. I'm glad we have what we have. You know, it makes yeah. me feel much happier that this is where we've ended up. Was there, was there one project where they, you felt like where they finally kind of came around where they were like, okay, now we believe no, he's a serious actor. It's not a script. No. It's like, a, <laughs> I guarantee you most of it happened in, in their house by themselves and together talking about it on their own, like in incremental yeah. stages of them examining how they were feeling about it. And these other moments came up like little islands in the sea where they could go and, and show their change or feel their change, right? And, um, you know, there are moments you can tell stories about that are great stories, but I don't want to over dramatize them as like, you know, they saw me and they, they really wanted, <laughs> but you know, like the first movie I ever had a premiere for uh, it was a movie called Drag Me to Hell that I made with Sam Raimi. Saw it in theaters. Um, yeah, I love that one. Yeah. 